Okay, this is part three. Um, I've got to find a better format to do this. I don't know why I keep doing this. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, this would just be a few few more minutes here, and I apologize for you having to you know, keep switching, but uh, I'll get better at this. It's only been five months. Um, so, you know, as we're wrapping up this passage here, I want to start in verse 24. Indeed, beginning with Samuel, all the prophets who have spoken have foretold these days. And you are heirs of the prophets and of the covenant God made with your fathers. He said to Abraham, through your offspring, all peoples on earth will be blessed. And this is, this is really the original great commission that uh, was in Genesis chapter 12 where God called Abraham to him. Um, verse 26, when God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. And in this closing, Peter is calling Jesus God's servant. And that you have to look at um, Isaiah. The servant songs of Isaiah is absolutely what he's talking about. When when I read some of this to you, you're going to hear Jesus. So so let me read to you some out of Isaiah. First, this is this is uh, chapter forty two. He here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his teachings the islands will put their hope. That's the, He's talking about Jesus. Now, we could go further into this, but let's, let's just leave this right now that he's talking about Jesus because he is. Okay, and you, you can hear that. What he, um, he's in his, in, in the prophet Isaiah is prophesying about really the personality of Jesus, that Jesus will be gentle. Um, he's he, 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 a bruised reed. He's not going to break. He's very gentle. A smoldering wick he will not snuff out. Okay, let me read to you another part. Um, this is from chapter 49. It is too small a thing for you to be my servant to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Um, that's applied to Jesus. Now, um, I want to read to you more out of Isaiah chapter 53. Um in this, there is just so much that, that you you will know. This He's talking about Jesus. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing is in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was cursed, crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him." the iniquity of us all. And I'm going to stop there, but there was more. I mean, I, I could have also read from chapter 52 that you would you would you'd say, well, that has always been applied to Jesus, and it is. And this is what Peter and John are talking about when they call him the servant of God. And that is a, they are connecting him to prophecy. And I really believe that the audience would have understood that, that this, we are talking about the great prophet Isaiah. And when you're talking to the Jews, to connect Jesus to prophecy is very important. And throughout this sermon, Peter and John have been doing that. So that's our lesson for today. And again, I apologize that, that this is in three parts. If you're still with me, I appreciate, I appreciate you being uh, here for the whole time. Let me close with the word of prayer. Father, thank you for the life of Jesus Christ. And I do pray, Lord, that you would help us to also be your servant, 
that we, our lives would be a, a sacrificial offering to you for you to do whatever you want. And may we show the characteristics of Jesus in our life and in our words. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody. I hope you have a, a good weekend. Love you. Bye-bye.